Well, the White Cane Initiative started several weeks ago with the goal of assisting dozens of visually impaired persons throughout the country. Organizer Kendrick Roll, who is also blind, says the freedom gained from the cane is liberating. He explained the reason behind the project. Its importance was to ensure that as many blind persons in New Providence and by extension on the family islands receive their white canes, which is a symbol that represents that you are a blind person. And it's also a tool for mobility and independent safe travel. And if we are supposed to be ensuring equality and that all persons who are blind and visually impaired are integrated into the Bahamian society, we want to ensure that they have the necessary tools to do so safely. Well, having secured 40 canes already, Roll is making the appeal to corporate Bahamas and others who can assist in the Christmas initiative to do so, whether it be through cash or other means. What we are doing, we are asking persons to make donations towards this initiative. Each white cane costs us around $30 landed. At this point, we put out a plea in early December and we got a few responses. I want to say thank you to Operation Love and Gratitude. That's a nonprofit initiative started by 12-year-old Melania Nixon. She's an eighth grade student at the Lyford Key International School. Commodore Raymond King at the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, he and his engineering department of the Defense Force gave cash donations so that we were able to purchase more white hands.